In this video, I want to super quickly show you the difference between call and delegate call, as there has been some confusion in the past. And basically, a call and delegate call are both very low level functions, and they just return a Boolean true or false if in the contract that you are trying to call uh, happened an exception. So if an exception happened, call and delegate call will return false. Obviously, both of these functions should be your last resort, uh, especially if you just have no ABI for the contract that you're trying to call or any other reason. But in this video, we are going to have a look at the difference between call and delegate call. So call will basically call the function in the contract that you are trying to call and encode here. So you have a contract address where you don't know the interface exactly. You just know that it has a function called, for example, call me maybe, and you can encode this and then you can call this function. And if you do this, it's like uh, calling an instance of the contract. And in our case, super simple example, we have a contract, some contract, which will fire an event, call me maybe event, if we call the function call me maybe. And this call me maybe event fires or emits a log with the address from the, this uh, variable. It's a global variable where the address of this contract is. Now, here's the big difference to delegate call. Delegate call will behave like you import the code from some contract into this contract. And so call will emit the address from some contract and delegate call, uh, even called in another contract, will emit the address from that called some contract. And this is exactly the way uh, libraries are actually working. So if you are calling a library, then it will not emit the address where you maybe deploy the library. It will uh, emit the address from that calls some contract contract address. Let's have a quick look how that looks like. First of all, I'm going to deploy some contract. And now I have some contract on this address. And I could call some contract now. And some contract will just uh, emit this event with the address from some contract. But that's not what we want to show here. What we want to show here is if we are going to deploy that calls some contract contract and now we are calling call the other contract function and here we have to give it the address from the other contract i've copied it here to my clipboard and i'm going to put the address in here and we will have a look what events have been emitted they have uh, three logs have been recorded uh, and that's exactly what we wanted to do the first one first log is from the call the second log is from the delegate call and the third log is from our library here and as we can see the first log has the address from the some contract contract itself so it's 0x692 and so on 0x692 and so on the second log however has the address from our that calls some contract contract, which is 0x5e7 and so on, 0x5e7. And the third log, not really surprising, has the address from our that calls some contract as well, because that's a library. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, uh, follow us on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube, and also, if you like this video and would like to join a more thorough course, find the link in the description here.